following NBC Sports program is brought to you in living color. Offensively for Miami, Paul Warfield, the nine-year veteran who went from Cleveland down to Miami out of Ohio State, will start as a wide receiver. Their left tackle, Wayne Moore, three-year veteran from Lamar Tech. The left guard, Bob Kuchenberg from Notre Dame. The center, Jim Langer from South Dakota State. The right guard, Larry Little from Bethune Cookman. Here come the Steelers. The crowd standing. 50,000 standing and ovation for the hometown ball club in black jerseys, white numerals, gold pants with a black stripe. Norm Evans, eight-year veteran from TCU, goes at right tackle, and their tight end is Mar Fleming, a 10-year NFL veteran from Utah. Earl Morrow will draw the starting assignment at quarterback, his 17th year in the league out of Michigan State. The running back, Mercury Morris, 5'10", 190, fourth year in the league from West Texas State. Larry Zonka at 6'2", 237 pounds in his fifth year from Syracuse. Howard Fully, wide receiver, seven-year veteran from Tulsa. For the Pittsburgh Steelers defensively this afternoon, here's the way they'll go. At left end, L.C. Greenwood at 6'6", 245 from Arkansas A&M. Joe Green at left tackle, 6'4", 275 from North Texas State. Ben McGee, the nine-year veteran from Jackson State at right tackle, 6'3", 260. And Dwight White in his second year in the league, 6'4", 255 from East Texas State. The linebackers, Jack Cam, second-year man from Penn State on the left side. Henry Davis in the middle. Andy Russell, eight-year veteran from Missouri at the right linebacker post. In the secondary, Johnny Rouser, the left cornerback. Mel Blunt, the right cornerback. Dick Anderson has recovered from that knee injury and is at one safety position. Mike Wagner, the great second-year safety from Western Illinois, at the other. Last week, Myron Cope, Mike Wagner's parents were here, and they had an opportunity to watch their son in action. And the reporters in Chicago, and he is a Chicago boy, were so enthused over the situation that they came back and interviewed the Wagners and found out that Mike had grown up as a Chicago Bear fan. But very luckily for him, he has changed his allegiance to the Steelers. And he's one of the good ones, one of the fine ones, in the gold and black uniform today. Well, I would say that that's an example of a misspent youth. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Jack, I think there's a possibility Glenn Edwards will start at safety, not six Anderson. Six's knee is not tip-top as yet, so I think you'll have Edwards there. And, uh, you know, the big battle today, the crowd here on its feet holler and defense, defense is some kind of scene. But the big battle today will be in the line there where Joe Green goes against Larry Little. Listen to this crowd. It's something. It's electric here. They're introducing the Steelers individually now, and that's the cause of all the excitement. But Joe Green was named the UPI O-lineman of the year. Second in the balloting was Larry Little, and his coincidence would have it they're up against one another head to head today. So, Jack, that ought to be some kind of battle in the trenches. You know, Chuck Cole had a press conference the other day when all these national writers started coming in, and uh, somebody asked him, uh, Chuck, do you think Breezy will play on Sunday? And his answer was, I hope so, meaning that uh, if they have to get Greasy in, things have gone bad for them with Morrill. So uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. The Steeler offensive linemen are now healthy, says Noel. They've been hobbling around out there for three weeks now, but today they're healthy. And, uh, of course, the main weakness that the Steelers have is they're very shallow at wide receiver. They really have just one threat there in Shanklin, uh, Frank Lewis being out for the year. And if there would be anything that would really worry you about today's game, other than the Dolphins themselves, it would be that, uh, that weakness at wide receiver. 
Don't you think it's ironic that we wind up weak at that position after being so strong there at the beginning of the year and we uh, move John Staggers over to Green Bay, send Dave Smith down to Houston, and then find ourselves coming up short? Yeah, well, you know, it, uh, it's such a long season. Charlie Callahan, the Miami publicist, said to me the other day, he used to be with Notre Dame, and he said, you know, this, this will, will be our 22nd game. He said, that's almost two and a third Notre Dame season. So you just run out of men, that's all there is to it. But that's why they have cap squad. Well, the Dolphins are sending four men out as their co-captains, quadruple captains to meet with Sam Davis and Andy Russell. And we have the symbolic toss of the coin. They shake hands and the Steelers are on the near side of the field. The Dolphins are to the far side. Over there is a little bald headed guy. He wears number one, I believe. That's the number one on Garo Yepremian, a genuine Cypriot who says that he is not getting the publicity he deserves this year, but he will kick well today, he promises. He's going to panigo. Now, here is our national anthem. Fleming with Myron Cope and Tom Bender at Three River Stadium. We're going to pause for station identification. Hi, this is Tom Lyons inviting you to spend all night with me here on the Pittsburgh Sound for good music, WTAE and WTAE-FM in Pittsburgh. Roy Girella will tee up the ball at the 40-yard line and Pittsburgh will kick off from right to left. Miami ready to set up. to receive the kickoff from Roy Girella. We still can't tell exactly who they're going to send deep. Setting their screen up, their blocking screen at the 15-yard line. And they're going deep with Mercury Morris and Charlie Lee. Mercury Morris and Charlie Lee with Morris to the left and Lee to the right of the kicker. And when you talk about Mercury Morris, you're talking about some kind of a runner. 14 returns, 334 yards on the season. The ball is teed up. Roy Girella will kick off for the Steelers. All right, here comes Girella. And he kicks it. Very, very high. Coming down to Morris. The yard deep in the end zone. Stumbles, comes out over the 5 to the 10, the 15. Hip, dives over the 20, goes to the 22-yard line. Running back. They're starting Jim Kick as a running back. Hand off to Zonka. Zonka running to the left. is stopped and then breaks loose. Comes forward for about three yards. Uh, Zonka runs away from a lot of people. He's powerful. Calling the signal Zero Morrow. A fake. Another fake. Then flips the pass into the left flat area to Morris. And Morris is nailed for a loss back at the 18-yard line by Ben McGee. Mercury Morris took a flat pass to the left side after two fakes. Steelers off to a good start here on defense as the Dolphins come up to third down and 12. Glenn Edwards and Ralph Anderson are both in that backfield. Jim Kick into the backfield for Miami and a pass into the left flat area. Caught with a tight end. Jim Mandich knocked out of bounds on the far side of the field at the 23-yard line by Mel Blunt. Flag down on the play. Jim Mandich lined up at tight end. 
running to the left, took the pass, went out of bounds, knocked out. Rough play. 15-yard penalty moves it to the 38-yard line and a first down for Miami. And the handoff straight ahead, Zonka, pile driving into the middle, comes over the 40 to the 41-yard line, runs into Ben McGee and Henry Davis. Larry Zonka, 6'2", 237 pounds, is a five-year veteran from Syracuse. You're in the I formation. Mercury Morris dots the I. The quarterback is Earl Morrill, and Morrill gives inside to Zonka, pile driving through the middle, out over the 45 to the 46-yard line. Joe Green and Henry Davis will get credit for the stop. And Zonka moves the football to the Miami 46-yard line, and on third down, they'll face third and two. And here's Morrow throwing out to the left. The ball pulled in at the 49-yard line by Meyer Fleming, crosses the 50, and is ridden out of bounds on the far side at the Steeler 49-yard line. Mel Blunt covering the play defensively for the Steelers from the I formation. Earl Morrow goes back deep, looks, Gets the pass away downfield. Intercepted at the 25. Ben Edwards back over the 40, the 45, the 50 to the Miami 49-yard line. Glenn Edwards came up with the interception on a pass intended for Jim Kick. Howard Tully was the intended receiver. Let's correct that. And Edwards moved in front of him to take that ball at the 25-yard line. And coming back upfield, crossed the 50, brought down at the Miami 48. Yes, he had John Riser right in front of him. He returned that ball, I do believe, Jack, 26 yards from the 24 to the Miami 48. So here goes the Steeler. First down, 10, Pittsburgh. Shifting, Franco Harris a step to the right. Bradshaw giving to Harris, running off right tackle, driving over the 45, goes to the Miami 41-yard line. Second down, three yards to go for the Steelers. Bradshaw with his flanker set out to the right side. Splits an end to the left. Bradshaw on the inside, handoff to Franco, run into the left. Cuts over the 40, down to the 35. Drives to the Miami 32-yard line. Shifting Franco in behind Jerry Bradshaw. Miami with a five-man front. The handoff to Franco, straight through the middle. Pile driving down to the 27-yard line. Franco Harris is the weapon. The tackle made by Vern Denherter, the 6'6", 250-pound defensive end, aided by Manny Fernandez. A gain of five yards on the play. Second down five, Bradshaw giving to Franco again, and he's hollered at the line of scrimmage. Hitting off the right side, and right there to meet him was Bona Connie, the middle linebacker. No gain on the play. It's going to be third down and five. So the Steelers come up against their first third down play of the afternoon and Bradshaw is using a long count and Miami hops across Miami makes contact first down for the Steelers Bradshaw sets some quarterback sneak Bradshaw diving across the 20 goes to the 18 but Miami was waiting second down Terry Bradshaw facing a five-man front quick pitch to Franco Harris to the right cuts over the 15 and goes down at the 13 yard line third down and two for the Steelers and the handoff goes to Johnny Fuqua, diving through the middle, fighting his way forward. And he may have the first down. He's down to the 11-yard line. Doug Swift making the stop. Fuqua that time like a submarine, driving through there, knocking men out of the way. And it's the first down, Pittsburgh, at the 11-yard line. Steelers have a first down 10 at the Miami 11. The tight formation for the Steelers with Al Young pulled in as a flanker very close in a wing position on the right side and the handoff goes to Franco pushing blockers out of the way cutting running to the left driving along the 10 and down to the 8 yard line. Franco Harris needing running room to the left that time. Bonacani and Mike Colin caught him as he crossed the 10 yard line and moved the football down inside the 9 and the big skin is spotted at the 8 and a half yard line 23 yards in from the near side of the field. They set up again tight. Two tight ends, quick pitch to the right side. Franco with a blocker, cuts outside, goes to the five. Driven out of bounds at the Miami three-yard line. Ravel flat and cornerback Tim Foley, and I really thought that Franco would make it into the end zone, that that block would give him clear sailing, but there they are at the three-yard line, third down. Bradshaw calling the signals. Facing a stacked up Miami defense in the front line. Takes the handoff, rolls out to the left, gets the block. Bradshaw puts his head down, fumbles the football into the end zone, recovered by Pittsburgh, and it's a touchdown. The ball recovered by Jerry Mullins in the end zone. Bradshaw rolling out to the left, hit, fumbled the football into the end zone. Now let's see what the rolling will be.
There is a player hurt. They have signaled the touchdown. And was Bradshaw hurt on the play? We're screened off from the injured player. And that is Terry Bradshaw shaken up on the play as he lost the football, fumbled it into the end zone where Gordon Ravel, or rather Jerry Mullins, recovered for the touchdown. And Bradshaw knocked Roggy coming off the field. Helped off by Ralph Berlin and Bob Miley. Jake Scott made the defensive play on Bradshaw. So the Steelers recover for the touchdown, and now Roy Girella will try for the point after. Holder, Bobby Walden. The ball is down, bobbled momentarily on a bad snap. Girella kicks it good with timeout on the field to score. Pittsburgh 7, Miami nothing. Apparently he got a blow to the head, but you know Chuck Knoll said Terry Hanrad, he was throwing the ball just right in practice this week, so if he has to go in there, it may work out all right anyhow. Then Jarella kicks off for the second time this afternoon. Kicks it long, high. Mercury Morris, five yards deep in the end zone, will take it for the touchback. <laughs> the Dolphins at their own 20. Earl Morrow, the quarterback. And the play is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Morrow handing off to Mercury Morris, and he dives into the middle. Henry Davis was there to meet him. They send Howard Twilley to the right. Paul Warfield to the left. Veteran Earl Morrow is the quarterback. Morrill on the long count takes, hands off to the left side. Mercury Morris straight ahead. He makes it to the 23 and he's gang tackled. Ernie Holmes at the bottom of the play for Pittsburgh. And Mercury Morris ran into stiff opposition. Yeah, Fats Holmes was just resolute on that play. He says, Morris, you're going nowhere. Took his head in his belly and just stopped him cold. With well, the running back set wide. A definite passing situation for Morrill. And Morrill backs up. Look. Look, firing long down to the far side, and it's juggled and dropped by Paul Warfield. Going to the sideline at the Miami 44-yard line with Mike Wagner over to cover. Warfield juggled the ball and dropped it. An incomplete pass. And the Steelers forced them into a punting situation. Larry Seipel, the punter out of Kentucky, averaging 39.9 for kick. Glenn Edwards deep for the Steelers. Seipel standing at his own nine-yard line. Snap to Larry Seipel. Seipel gets it away. Rather wobbly kick short. Edwards wants the fair catch. Pulls it in at the Steeler. 41-yard line. First and 10 at the Pittsburgh 41. Al Young to the left. Ron Shanklin to the right. Bradshaw. Deep hand off to Fuqua. Trying to get outside to the right. And he can't make a touch back. And is nailed at the line of scrimmage. Maybe just short of the line of scrimmage. Fuqua runs into Dick Anderson. And the safety man brings him down for a one-yard loss at the 40-yard line. Playing the strong safety position for the Dolphins this afternoon made the stop. Second down, 11. Pittsburgh at its own 40. Bradshaw stopping short. Firing to Al Young. Can't hold it. Incomplete. Coming down and turning in at the 50-yard line. Had it in his arms at the Miami 48. Could not hold it. Curtis Johnson came over to cover on the play. And it will be third down now and 11 yards to go. And unless I'm mistaken, that was Bradshaw's first pass of the ball game, right? Four-man front for the Miami Dolphins. They may use a three-man rush, and they do. Here is Bradshaw firing too low to Shanklin, cutting sharply from his flanker position over to the 45-yard line. It came in low, and the play was covered by Lloyd Mumford. Incomplete pass. And Bobby Walden is on. Walden will do the punting. And Walden having a great year, averaging 43.8 per kick. And here is Walden kicking the air out of the football. Scott backing up, watching it hit inside the five and go into the end zone. Moral quarterbacking the Miami Dolphins at his own 20. Hands off to Zonka slipping off the left side. Breaks the two tackles, goes to the 25, the 30, and is over the 30 to the 31-yard line. Best gainer of the afternoon. Zonka is the inside man. Jim Kick at the top of the eye takes the handoff. He's nailed at the line of scrimmage. Caught by Ben McGee. Pittsburgh leading 7 to nothing. Earl Morrill calling the signals. And Morrill backs up to throw. Greenwood rushes by and the pass downfield caught at the 44-yard line by Mar Fleming. Twists and turns over the 45 to the 46. Mike Wagner and Andy Russell make the stop for the Steelers. And Miami has moved to another first down. This time the Dolphins take the football to their own 46-yard line, and time is running out in the opening period. The ball spotted just short of the 46-yard line. The Dolphins' fourth first down of the afternoon. 
There's the end of the first quarter with a score. Pittsburgh seven, Miami nothing. Steelers leading the Dolphins seven to nothing as we go into the second period here at Three Rivers, and we haven't seen blitzing today. Chuck Noll himself says that he and Don Shula are very close in defensive philosophies. <laughs> And, uh, of course, Noel has never been known as a blitzing coach, and, uh, and I doubt that we'll see the Dolphins going much to that today either, unless, of course, they're in the mood to play some, some surprises. At any rate, the uh, ball now at the uh, Dolphin 45-yard line, 46-yard line, as the Dolphins have a first down. The second best field position of the afternoon. They're in the eye formation. From the top of the eye, the ball taken by Morris. He's caught and thrown by L.C. Greenwood. Back along the 42-yard line. Morris trying to get outside to the right. And Greenwood put the grab on him. Yep. Yes, sir, L.C. <laughs> got him by the letters. He said, I got the material, Mercury, down you go. He just wouldn't let go of that shirt. I guess L.C.'s got good fingernails. Earl Morrow. 17-year veteran from Michigan State, quarterbacking. Morrow looks at a six-man Steeler front, backs up the throw, cocks his arm, fires complete to the Pittsburgh 47-yard line to Mar Fleming, the tight end. Third down. Line up in a tight formation with a pair of tight ends. And Morrow gives it to Morris, running to the right. He needs a block. He's nailed back at the 49-yard line. Jack Ham broke through to nail him along the 49-yard line on a great play. And that stops the drive. Larry Seipel in punt formation, standing at his own 35-yard line. He's going to run with the football. Everybody's got their back to him. He's got the first down. Seipel inside the 20-yard line. And what a... Took the snap from punt formation and saw the running room and took off forward and runs to a first down. So it was a... Real stunt that Shula pulled there. First down, 10 yards to go at the Pittsburgh 12-yard line. They put a man in the slot on the right side. Handoff goes to Zaka, running to the right. Leaps over a man, puts his head down, goes to the 10 and down to the 9-yard line with Henry Davis making the tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ball being spotted at the 9-yard line. And again... Of three yards on the play, second down seven. Morris out of the ball game. Jim Kick back in as a running back for the Dolphins. Morrow looking over here to Zaka. Step away from one touchdown. Well, there's something you don't see very often. Mel, Mel Blunt missing an easy tackle. He was one on one against Zonka. Had a good shot at him, but Zonka just ran away from him. A soccer-style kicker, ready to go for the point. Morrow waiting for the ball. Here's the snap, it's down. Yepremian kicks it, and the kick is good. Now with time out on the field, the score is Pittsburgh 7, Miami 7. This American Conference Championship game all tied up now. The Steelers 7, the Dolphins 7. All right, here's the kickoff by Yepremian. Down to Steve Davis, three yards deep in the end zone. He'll come out over the 5, to the 10, to the 15, and he's nailed and goes down at the 19-yard line. Fine stop on the play for the Miami Dolphins. And ready takes. Full pivot. Handoff goes to Johnny Fuqua over the right side of the 25, the 30, the 31 yard line. First down, 10. Shifting Franco Harris in behind the quarterback, Hanratty. Terry Hanratty calling the signals. Handoff goes to Franco through the middle over the 35 and out to the 37 yard line. Steelers have been breaking some big holes. And ready, gives to Fuqua, running to the right, cutting back, leaping over the 40-yard line, goes to the 42. Larry Brown is wide to the left, and the handoff goes to Franco, finds a little running room, and then it closes as he makes it to the 44-yard line. Doug Swift and Nick Bonacconi. Bradshaw on the sidelines, hand ready the quarterback, hands off to Franco, stop behind the line of scrimmage, break loose, and pile drives forward to the 48-yard line. Hanratty back to throw for the first time, going for the long bomb. Shanklin races for just out of his reach at the Miami 20-yard line. Shanklin coming downfield beyond Lloyd Mumford and Dick Anderson, and the pass just out of his reach. Hanratty kicks at the turf in disgust as he comes off the field. And Walden, standing at his own 34, high snap, gets his kick away. Low trajectory, coming down, bouncing inside the 20. 
Bouncing back inside the 10, inside the 5, and the Steelers touch the ball down. It gets into the end zone. There were Steelers all around the football, but they could not get it inside the 5-yard line as Walden got off a of beauty. Now with timeout on the field after a 52-yard Bobby Walden punt with timeout on the field, the score, Pittsburgh 7, Miami 7. 7.59 to play in the first half here at Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh. From the eye formation, Maul gives off to the inside man, Zonka, straight ahead for a couple of yards. Warfield wide to the left. And they're in the eye formation. Here is a pitch to Mercury Morris. Morris leaps over, a tackler comes over the 20, the 25, the 30. He's got running room. He's caught from behind and brought down outside the 45-yard line. They're going to spot it around the 49 with a tackle made by Johnny Rouser. Seven seven ball game. All right, Morrow has him at his own 49. Morrow gives it to Zonka. Zonka running to the left is nailed crossing the 50 by Dwight White. And they're going to spot the ball at the Pittsburgh 48 yard line. And Morrow gives the handoff to Zonka. And Zonka trying to get off the left side finds nowhere to go. Henry Davis there to meet him along with Andy Russell. Cross Buck into the left side. And no gain on the play. So it's going to be third down. Maybe he got a half yard out of it. Let's call it third and seven. Look at this formation. Two men wide right, one man wide left from the eye formation. A pitch to Mercury Morris. Run into the right, trying to get outside at the 50. Nailed at his own 48 yard line. Mercury Morris nailed. Hit by Elsie Greenwood. By Jack Ham. And by Johnny Rouser. Yes, Johnny Rouser would not allow the Dolphins to take him out of that play. He made a real good play. Three Steelers over there to stop it. Snap of the ball. And Seifel punts. Wobbly. Fair catch call for by Edwards at his own 15. And the Steelers have the ball back. And the handoff goes to Harris. Into the line. Cutting back. Goes to the 20. And is gang tackled at the 20-yard line. And a gain of four yards on the play. Running backs are Fuqua and Harris. The quarterback is Terry Hanratty. Hanratty, full pivot, gives off the Fuqua, driving into the middle of the line and squirming out to the 23-yard line. And Hanratty stopping short, firing out to the left. Al Young takes the ball. It's knocked down at the 29-yard line. He has a first down. Here's Hanratty fading back, throwing a screen pass to the left to Franco, and he is nailed. He hits the turf. He loses the football, but it is dead. Steelers line up to go into action, and the official steps in and blows his whistle. The two-minute warning in the quarter. Hand off to the right side to Franco. Tripped up as he comes across the line of scrimmage. Actually ran into his own blocker, Bruce Van Dyke. Doug Swift covered him as he went down at the 25-yard line. And Hanratty firing to Al Young, cutting across at the 30. Takes it running laterally, gives ground, trying to get outside. He's caught at the 30-yard line, breaks loose, runs forward over the 35. Fighting his way to the 37-yard line. He's short of a first down. Great running by Al Young. Fighting and scrambling and finally nailed at the 37-yard line. Brought down by Dick Anderson and Nick Bonacani. And he winds up, after all that running, about a yard short of a first down. And Bobby Walden will come on. Fourth down and one yard to go. A great effort by Al Young. Dick Anderson, the up man, and Jake Scott, the deep man for Miami. Bobby Walden gets away a high, wobbly, lazy punt that is pulled in on the fair catch by Jake Scott at the Miami 20. 43-yard punt from the line of scrimmage. And the Dolphins have the football with a minute two on the clock at their own 20. Earl Morrill steps under center. Clock turning. They were setting up their plays on the sideline before they came on the field. Hand off to the inside man, Larry Zaka. Nailed as he came over the 20, may get a yard out of the play. Morrill, draw, hand off to Mercury Morris coming through the middle. And he fights his way out to the 24-yard line. And Morrill directs the attack. 
Rolls right. Morrow looking, throwing to the far side of the field, completing the pass to the 34-yard line to Paul Warfield. Send Howard Twilley out to the right. Draw handoff, Mercury Morris running to the left, turns it on, coming to the near side and going out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Back goes Morrow. He's going to go deep down the near sideline, and the pass is overthrown, intended for Warfield. Mel Blunt was down there to cover. Mike Wagner was over. And back goes Morrow. Morrow looking, firing down that far sideline, and it is out of the reach of the receiver at the Pittsburgh 15-yard line. Over on the far side, Howard Twilley was looking up into the sun. He could not see the football. Finally got one hand on it. The sun had blinded him. He could not get the football, and it fell incomplete. So that's the end of the first half here at Three Rivers Stadium. The score, Pittsburgh 7, Miami 7. The winner of this game advances into the Super Bowl at Los Angeles on January 14th. You're listening to Steeler football on WTAE this afternoon. Very nice to have you with us. And Yefemian is ready. Comes forward and kicks it. And he kicks it well, deep in the end zone, over the end line, and out of play. And ready, the quarterback. And ready, calling the signals. And ready, takes. Hand off to Franco. Driving left, cutting back, and moving to the 23 yard line. Miami and White. Five men in the forward wall. Take by Hanratty, and he's nailed. Hanratty fakes the ball to Frenchy Fuqua. Started to unwind the throw to Al Young, and they swarmed over top of him. Bill Stanfield made the stop as they caught Terry H. at the 17-yard line, the first time they have sacked our quarterback this afternoon. Hanratty third and long yardage. Shanklin to the right. And ready goes deep. Looks, they come after him. He fires downfield. And a leaping stab by John McMakin at the 35. Pulls it in and goes to the 39-yard line. Jake Scott covering the play. And that had to be a great play by McMakin. As Hanratty under extreme pressure from the Miami rush. What a catch. What a leaping fingernail catch with Mumford all over Shanklin. Shanklin simply out jumped him and held on to that ball so the Steelers are at the Miami 37 yard line and moving behind Ann Raddy. Ann Raddy calling the signals for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Draw handoff goes to Fuqua cuts off the left side running outside of the 30 to 25. Stops at the 20. Foot goes down gets up goes to the 15. Inside the 15 down to the 12 yard line. Curtis Johnson finally made the tackle on an astounding run by Frenchy Fuqua. Now in three plays in three plays, the Steelers have moved the football deep in the Miami territory. The Frenchman came across the middle on the draw. Middle linebacker Nick Barnacani was there to meet him, but the Frenchman faked him into the second deck at Three Rivers Stadium and headed for the sideline. He was on his way, and it's the Steelers at the 13. Full pivot by Hanratty. Hand off to Fuqua, cross bucking. Into the middle of the line, he goes down to the 10 yard line. Here is Hanratty firing the pass is blocked, trying to hit Al Young as he cuts sharply in from his wide position. Hanratty calling the signal. Another full pivot. The pitch to Fuqua to the right side. A rather to Harris. He's trapped and then comes outside and goes out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Girella has hit 28 of 41 field goal tries on the season. Walden gets a low snap, puts it down. Jarella kicks it. His kick is good. Jarella hits from 15 yards. The Steelers have just taken a three-point lead, 10-7, with Roy Jarella's 14-yard field goal. And great work by Bobby Walden, the holder, in getting a low snap up in the nick of time. And that's twice a day he's done that. Jim Clack is uh, on, uh, both on an extra point and on a field goal has centered the ball low, and Walden has been very nimble to get the ball up for Jarella. Jarella tees it up at the 40. He'll kick off left to right with Mercury Morris and Charlie Lee deep. And here is his kick. Very high, coming down to Morris. One yard deep in the end zone. He'll take it there and settle for the touchback. And as this crowd of over 50,000 chance defense, and Bob Greasy comes on to quarterback the Miami Dolphins. And Greasy giving the handoff straight ahead. Jim kicks the ball carrier coming out to the 22-yard line. 
Snowed under by the center of the Pittsburgh defense, anchored by Ben McGee. Ball is spotted at the 22. Kick picks up two yards. Crazy, of course, coming off an injury. Don Shaw has said he was a little bit gimpy uh, this week, but he wants to get something going, so he's using Crazy. Stalker, the inside man. The ends are tight once again. Miami looking basically at a six-man front. Greasy, pitching to the right to kick. He juggles the football. Cuts forward. He's hit by Joe Green and nailed at the 23-yard line. Joe Green hit him, and I mean he really hit him. Jim Kick juggled the football as he ran to the right. Gained control of it. Cut forward and met Joe Green, who knocked him down. They give him the 23-and-a-half-yard line. Boy, I'll tell you, if Joe Green hit me the way he hit Kick, I wouldn't wake up for a year. Wow. Two to the left, one to the right, reaching back to throw. Looking for Lord. A foot race down. That runs out from behind by Mike Wagner. So the Dolphins strike through the air and they move the football with Warfield, the receiver, to the Pittsburgh 24. It was a little slanting pass is what it was, and Andy Russell, unfortunately, was, was stuck with trying to cover Paul Warfield, and he just doesn't have the speed to do it. So Warfield was able to get free and turn it on, and boy, I'll tell you, Mike Wagner did a great job of running him down. Dolphins have converted four out of seven third down plays. First and ten at the Pittsburgh 24. With Greasy quarterbacking, Greasy gives to his inside man, Zonka, straight ahead, just off the left side, and he moves it down over the 20, almost to the 19-yard line, Dwight White at the bottom of the play, and they set the ball back to the 20 for a four-yard gain. The Miami Dolphins at the Pittsburgh 20. Steelers leading 10-7, 8.06 to play in the third quarter here at Three Rivers Stadium. Kick and Zonka. The combination that carried them so far last year. Here's the handoff to Zonka. And he wades off the right side. Going off tackle for a couple of yards. And the running backs are set wide. And Greasy may pass here. It's Dwight White offside. As the play gets underway. And the pass is intercepted by Jack Cam. Out over the 10. The 15. The 20. The 25. The 30. And out of bounds at the 34-yard line. But we had a man offside. Dwight White was pulled off and could not get back as they snap the football. The flag was down. Ham came up with the interception, but I think it will be nullified. Yes, it uh, surely will be. Uh, Dwight White was at least a, a yard and a half into the Miami backfield, and uh, unless he was drawn off, why, the, the penalty will go against the Steelers. And that's what's going to be the case. Yeah, they've signaled offside. White stepped over and then was trying to get back, and they snapped the football. He didn't make it. Pittsburgh lines up with five men in their front. Shifting, kick into a flanker position to the left. Basically a double wing offense. And the handoff goes to Zonka, and he is nailed by Dwight White along the 15-yard line. In a 10-7 ball game. At the Pittsburgh 14, Greasy drops back. Looks, looks, running with a football. Now running back to the right, still looking. In pursuit, he throws downfield, completes the pass to the five-yard line. Pulled in by Mar Fleming, who is knocked down along the five by Johnny Rouser. Third down, two and a half yards to go. Got Warfield in tight on the right side. And Greasy gives the ball to kick, and kick pile drives forward, and he stopped just over the four-yard line, and I don't believe he made it. Jim Kick almost broke loose as he bounced off of somebody. The center of the defense stacking up the play, bringing the sticks in from the far side of the field. They are a yard short of a first down, and Don Shula says go for it. Greasy calling the signal. Greasy's hand off the kick, and kick drives through the middle. And he may have it. Clock is stopped while they uncover the situation. First down, Miami. He just barely got it by a half yard. First down, Miami at the two. Greasy calling the signals out of the eye formation. To Zonka. Zonka hitting just off the right side. Nails. Nowhere to go. And at the bottom of that play, you're going to find Ernie Holmes. Yes, a nice play by Ernie Holmes. Really met Zonka hard there. So nice going bats in the Dolphins. They're now second down at the two-yard line. With 3.32 on the turning clock in the third quarter. The Steelers leading by three. 
And a quick pitch to the right side. Here's Kick coming out, cutting back, and he goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Jim Kick running right, cutting back and diving into the end zone for the Miami touchdown. And the Dolphins are on the board with the score. Jim Kick, the ball carrier, going into the end zone as the Dolphins pick up their second touchdown of the afternoon. Second down play, Jim Kick trying to get out the line, looking for the end zone, touchdown, Jim Kick. The snap, your premium kick, and the kick is good. Now with time out on the field, the score, Miami 14, Pittsburgh 10. 50,350 looking on in this battle for the AFC title in 1972. Here is your premium kicking off. Bouncing downfield into the arms of Pearson inside the 10 out over the 15, the 20, the 25. Breaks the tackle, comes over the 30, the 35, the 40. Needs the block, can't get it. Goes down at the 45-yard line. Preston Pearson finally stopped by the kicker, Garo Yepremian. Two tight ends. And the handoff to Franco Harris, running to the right, cuts forward, comes across the 50. Runs into stiff opposition to Miami 48. Ma Manny Fernandez. 2.15 to play in the third quarter. The running backs are set wide. And the handoff given to Fuqua. Fuqua on a cross buck through the middle to the 45-yard line, two yards short of a first down with Fernandez and Colin there to block the way. Third and two at the Miami 45-yard line. And here is an offside call. John McMakin jumped the snap, went offside, and that's going to cost us five yards. Here's Hanratty firing down the middle, in and out of the arms of Larry Brown. Yes, Hanratty had excellent protection, and he put the ball right there, but it was incomplete as Brown dropped it. Hanratty now five for eight. Dick Anderson, the up man, Jake Scott deep. The snap to Bobby Walden, and his punt is away. Straight away, spiraling downfield and into the end zone. So it's a 50-yard punt from the line of scrimmage. Miami gets the ball back. The Dolphins will operate from their own 20-yard line. We trail 14 to 10 with a minute 17 to play in the third quarter. Greasy at his own 20, sets the Dolphins, hand off to Zonka, into the right side, hit at the line of scrimmage, and his momentum will give him two yards as he is tackled very solidly by L.C. Greenwood. All right, the clock down to 49 seconds in the third period. Second down, eight. Greasy sets his ball club. Here is Greasy, coming deep, faking, looking upfield, passing, pass, almost intercepted, intended for Mar Fleming. Three men in the area. Andy Russell stamps his feet in disgust. Yes, I think that's just what happened. Russell thought he had the interception, but of course Henry Davis couldn't be blamed. He, he can't take a chance on it going to Russell. He's got to try for the ball. Third down eight for the Dolphins. At their own 22-yard line. And Greasy gives to Mercury Morris, running to the right, turns the corner, and is driven out of bounds, short of the 30-yard line. At the 29, hit on the far side of the field by Glenn Edwards. Knocked out of bounds, short of the first down. It will be fourth down, and about a yard to go. Larry Sable in punt formation at his own 15. Takes his time, gets it away. Blyer coming over to the right. Catches at the 28, comes over the 30, running to the 35, and driven out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Holding against the Dolphins. Seipel waiting for the snap. Here it comes, and Seipel gets the kick away. High and wobbly. Blyer wants the fair catch, pulls it in at the Miami 48-yard line. And that's the end of the third quarter with the, with the score, the Dolphins 14, the Steelers 10. The final quarter of this AFC title game with Miami leading 14 to 10. Hanratty gives the handoff to Franco Harris running to the left, breaks two tackles, drives forward to the Miami 41-yard line. Second down, three yards to go. Got the Miami 41. Hanratty, the quarterback. Fake, goes deep, looks, fires the bomb intended for Shanklin, knocked down out in front of Shanklin at the 23-yard line. Came in short. Hanratty throwing, trying to get it just over the line of scrimmage to Shanklin. Incomplete. Came in low. Walden will be the holder from 48 yards out. And Jarellis' kick is blocked, and the ball is rolling free. Picked up off the ground and nailed at the Pittsburgh 48-yard line. The ball picked up off the turf. Mercury Morris at the top of the eye. Inside man is Larry Zonka. Quarterback is Bob Greasy. 
Greasy pitch to Morris, running to the left side, trying to get outside, turns the corner at the 50, and is forced out of bounds on the far side by Mel Blunt. They will mark him out at the Pittsburgh 45-yard line for a gain of four yards on the play. And that's enough to scare you to death to see him running outside. Yeah, and I believe Lloyd Mumford was the Dolphin who blocked that field goal. I'm not certain. I wish I had the instant replay here so that I could see whether... Well, uh, Terry Bradshaw now warming up on the sideline, so there's a development. Second down, six yards to go, Miami. Greasy goes deep. He's going to throw. Greasy firing to the right flat area, completing the pass to Mara Fleming at the 41. Breaks the tackle over the 40. Fighting and gets to the 36-yard line. Mar Fleming, 6'4", 232 pounds. Fine tight end from Utah. The Miami Dolphins at the Pittsburgh 36. They have the flanker wide left. Both ends tight. Hand off to Morris. Comes through the middle. Cuts back to the right. Goes to the 30. And inside the 30 down to the Pittsburgh 27-yard line. Big hole for Mercury that time. And as you said, Jack, he did a little improvising. Going left and cutting right. And the Steelers are in deep trouble. 27-yard line. It will be second down. One yard to go. Greasy. Hand off to Morris. Driving off the left side. Across the 25 and down to the 24. And he has the first down. And the Steelers, the big thing with them all year has been the turnovers, and that's what they need here. But Miami has yet to fumble today. The ends are tight. High formation. Greasy on the long count. Greasy takes. The give is to Zonka through the middle, driving down over the 20 to the 15 and inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. And now they're coming at it straight up the middle. Mike Wagner was there to stop the play, and the ball is at the Pittsburgh 14-yard line. And give the ball to Zonka off the right side. He goes to the 10, inside the 10, and all the way down to the 5-yard line. Jack Tam making the tackle. Steps under center. Greasy gives the handoff to Mercury Morse. Nailed as he tries to get outside of the right. Hit and stopped along the seven-yard line by Johnny Rouser as he tried to get outside of the right. They will spot the ball at the seven-and-a-half-yard line. Paul Warfield to the left. Howard Twilley to the right. Bob Greasy out of Purdue, the quarterback. Greasy gives the handoff to Zonka, driving off the right side, comes inside the five-yard line, and again is very near to a first down. He's within a yard of the first down. He may have it. He may not. L.C. Greenwood hurt. And Greenwood getting attention from the Steeler training corps. Miami facing fourth down and about a foot to go. At the Pittsburgh four and a half yard line. Zonka and kick of the running back. Greasy lines them up. Greasy calling the signals. Gives to Zonka. Almost got him, but he slid forward. Driving through was the ball is advanced to the four-yard line, first of all, and that should be good enough for a first down, but they're going to measure again. Zonka and kick of the running back. And they're running off a lot of time on this drive. Handoff is to kick. Try in the middle. Finds nowhere to run. He'll lean forward for maybe half a yard. As the Pittsburgh defense was bunched up and stopped him. So Jim Kick takes it in for the Dolphins. Here comes your Premiums kick. Very hard, very high rather, relatively short. Pulled in by Pearson at the 7, out over the 10, the 15, the 20. Cutting back at the 25, fighting his way to the 28-yard line and snowed under. Started to rain here as predicted at Three Rivers Stadium. Bradshaw goes back to throw. Fires. Complete to Larry Brown at the 39-yard line. Sends Shanklin to the right, Al Young to the left. And Bradshaw drops back, fires, complete to Young at the Miami 46. Drives down over the 40, inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. Clock turning. So hoping to get a quick one. Thanks, throws to Young. Bradshaw takes, fires, too high. Al Young scares him at the 40-yard line. He's right ahead. He goes in for a touchdown. The pass to the high. Al Young went up in the air. Pulled it in with one hand between two men. Generation gets seven in the end zone for the Steelers touchdown. And the second year man from South Carolina State. Greasy with one hand to pull it in at the four. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. 
And Roy Jarellick kicks it very high into the end zone. Charlie Lee will field it and take the touchback. They use a tight formation. They're in the eye. Greasy calling the signal. Greasy takes, gives to Zonka to the middle. He'll get about three yards. Zonka coming through the middle from the eye, running from the straight eye, hit by Dwight White and Henry Davis. Second down, seven. Warfield goes wide to the left. The ends are tight. High formation. Quick pitch to Morris. Running to the left. Cutting back. Hit short of the 23. Goes down at the 22. Mercury Morris thrown for a yard loss. Hit by Johnny Rouser. Henry Davis over there. And Glenn Edwards to cover. Miami out of the huddle. Jim Langer goes over the football. Third down, eight yards to go. Greasy, the quarterback, and the crowd roars. Man in the wide slot left, Greasy. Dropping back, rolling left, they're after him, they're missing. Greasy scrambling, running back to the right. Greasy looking, they're still chasing Greasy. Greasy going back toward the end zone. Greasy still looking. Greasy throwing the football, incomplete. They almost had him. They pursued Greasy all the way back to the two-yard line. And he finally threw the football and got rid of it. And the crowd roaring. What a break had they been able to trap him back there. But as it is, it comes back to the 21-and-a-half-yard line. Glenn Edwards to receive. Larry Seipel, the kicker. Larry Seipel is the kicker standing at his own six-yard line snap of the ball to Seipel and he gets the kick away wobbly coming up field Edwards fields it at his own 40 running to the right trying to get outside cuts back he comes to the 45 fumbles the football it's down on the field football is on the field and the Steelers recover wow the Steelers at their own 45-yard line and Bradshaw goes back Bradshaw is nailed Bradshaw trying to get away, and he stowed under at his own 35. Second time this afternoon that the Pittsburgh quarterback has been stopped. 3.15 to go. The loss from the 45 back to the 36, a nine-yard loss. Second down and 19. Clock turning again, down to 3.10. Bradshaw rolling left and looking, firing in and out of the arms of Franco Harris at the 43-yard line. Incomplete. Hoping for the miracle again. 2.57 to play. 21-17 Miami. And again, the chips stacked against the Steelers. Three-man rush by Miami. A super prevent defense. And Bradshaw back deep. Bradshaw running to the right. Looking, looking, looking. Firing downfield. Intercepted at the Miami 46. Back over the 50 to the Pittsburgh 45. Bonacani with a football, running and giving ground and nailed at the Pittsburgh 47. Bruce Van Dyke made the tackle. Only remaining. Bradshaw gets the protection this time. Now looking for somebody. Rolls and he's going to be intercepted by Vic Bonacani. The all pro middle linebacker. Bradshaw under pressure, getting rid of the football and throwing it into the arms of Bonacani, the first interception by Miami this afternoon. Greasy lines them up. He gives the ball to Mercury Morris, running to the right, trying to get outside, stumbles, keeps his foot into the 45. The 40 comes down the sideline to the 35 and is knocked out of bounds. We have a timeout down on the field, the two-minute warning, and with timeout on the ball game, the score, Miami 21, Pittsburgh 17.
The ball is at the eight and a half yard line. It is third and one for uh, for Miami. Fifty three seconds remaining, and the Dolphins leading, twenty one to seventeen. Greasy calling the signals to give to Zaka, and he may not have it. Pretty well stacked up in the middle. The clock stopped at 48 seconds. And Zaka under a pile of Steelers. This one should require a measurement. They missed the first down by about a half yard, and Don Shula will go for it again. He's done it twice this afternoon. Down deep in Pittsburgh territory and has been successful. Running back are Kick and Zaka. Greasy gives to Zaka. Zaka is nailed. Trying to hit off the left side. Nailed at the 10. Comes down just inside the 10. Clock stop with 42 seconds remaining. Dwight White and Glenn Edwards made the stop. And the Steelers take over at their own nine yard line. As Larry Zaka is stacked up. And now the clock turns again. And Bradshaw drops back to the goal line. Gets the ball away to Franco at the 10, to the 15, the 20, and Franco goes out of bounds. Bradshaw trying to bring it back. Bradshaw throws for Young, and it's intercepted. Mike Colan. Intercepted at the 36-yard line. Picked off by Mike Colan, and he's back down to the 31. So the Dolphins come up with another key interception. And that should do it. One second down, the two ball clubs coming together to shake hands. The gun sounds. Don Shula is coming across the field to shake hands with Henry Davis. Shula comes all the way to the near sideline to seek out Chuck Knoll as they shake hands and walk off the field together. Shula, with his arm around Knoll, a former assistant of Baltimore, knows the sting of defeat. He felt it in the Super Bowl a year ago. And he knows how Chuck Knoll must feel at the end of this disappointing afternoon. But it's the wind-up of a great season, the greatest in the history of the Steelers. And I think you've got to look to the future and say this young ball club, which carried it so far in the year 72, has nothing but a great future ahead of it. Anyway, we're down to the end of the fourth quarter. And the final score, Miami 21, the Steelers 17.